everyone hope you are doing very well in this video i will demonstrate another copilot features in microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operations this copilot feature is vendor summary how it helps this feature provides the ability to view vendor summary on the vendor table page the summary generated by ai so this new feature is available from 10 or 40 version so we will deep dive into this feature there are other summary features are also available but in this video we will actually deep dive and go into detail how these summary features are helping the organization or the end users so after enable this feature nothing is to you know do as such as a configuration because this is purely based on ai and copilot so what we will do we will just select one vendor so suppose this vendor now how it helps what is the features what is this feature about is see now from 10 40 version the summary by copilot options are available so in the vendor master copilot will summary summarize the vendor data from the beginning so if you see in the left hand side it is status and the right hand side it is inside so in a say suppose uh, a user wants to understand the performance or uh, to know something about this vendor what has happened with this vendor how what are the pending invoices how many invoices has posted what are the aging of the highest invoice what is the highest number of you know highest value of the invoice number that inside it gives in the right side and the, in the left hand side it gives the status if you notice in this feature in the it states in I mean it is not actually you know configuration it is generated by ai so if you see if you notice this it is saying in the last year there were total of 117 posted invoice to amounting this with a total outstanding balance of this usd for vendor invoices and customer payment totaled among this usd so as of now what i have what i have noticed this customer payment is a confusing one if i you know being very honest because this customer payments actually copilot is you know trying to say about the advance payment okay that i understood maybe in future the microsoft will change this language and will bring the vendor advance payment something like that and if you see after that 17 transaction while the unsettled amount of vendor payments stood at this usd additionally there were 19 open purchase orders 52 received orders and 48 invoiced orders only one purchase agreement was effective with no agreements on hold so there are no active revoked agreements deals during this period so this is a summarization by the co-pilot what has happened and what is the summary of this vendor and in the right hand side if you see in the last one year there were there are 81 overdue invoices from a vendor in vendor totaling this amount this in the invoice with the highest number of overdue days is this bdyu with the invoice number with 508 days while the invoice with the la largest overdue amount is this amounting this Additionally, there are 30, 36 pending vendor invoices with 7 having matching group, matching errors and 13 awaiting approval. Moreover, there are a 108 delayed product receipt with the same period. So it is basically the inside it is giving by the co-pilot and the left hand side as I mentioned just overall status or summary you can call by the co-pilot. So what we will do, we will check how fast this co-pilot changes this inside because at this right hand side in the inside it is stating bdyu with the 508 days so what we will do we will pay this vendor invoice so we will go to vendor payment and pay this so uh, we will go directly to the payment journal and we will create a vendor payment I will select the vendor and in the settled transaction page we will select that invoice as of now i haven't also tried i thought of try with this video so that mark click ok <laughs> i will select a bank account Mm 
maybe this bank account and post it it is posted now so what i will do i will go back and now i will do i will just refresh it and i will let the copilot to generate the summary once again let's see how fast it changes you see now the invoice which was bdyu is not anymore because it has been paid and certain i mean i mean after this the copilot has generated a new summary with a new highest number of over days overdue days with this invoice at 241 so previously the, 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 there was a different invoice number with 508 days now i have paid it it is giving me the insight that there is another one okay so this is how this actually generates the inside using the copilot summary feature i will test another scenario where what i will do i will just make this vendor on hold okay let's see whether it tells or not okay now i have changed it what i will do i will just refresh and i will let the copilot summary features to summarize this one okay so still there is nothing like that maybe i can just refresh the browser and let's see now if you see the status which we have i have marked this vendor on hold it is now updated by the copilot there are no active rebate agreements after that and for after that there is a sentence call and all vendor statuses were marked as all right so it is giving me the indication that this vendor is on hold so that's what i tried to deep dive into this how it works in real time or not so actually it works in the real time still there are plenty of things it can be improved like i mentioned it is to, it is saying that customer payments other i mean this is not a customer payment this is a vendor advanced payment so that's how these vendor summary features are working using the copilot functionality is the embedded copilot this copilot you know summary features are available in other in other areas as well like you know you know release product and sales order which we will deep dive in into next next series of videos so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it you will be able to you know uh, implement it and yeah thanks for thanks for watching this video stay tuned for another video like this bye for now